Hi, I'm Courtney and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you on a house tour through the Miami 16 on display here at Emerald Hills. I'll leave the address down below in the description box for you. But this stunning design sits a 16 meter wide block and has the Cascade D facade on display. Alright, let's go inside. Now the incredible feature in this home is really this living space out the back and the double width alfresco that takes the indoor outdoor living experience to a whole nother level. It is incredible four bedroom, two bathroom, two car design with an additional powder room at the front for guests as well. So let me take you through it from the start. Let's go. The front entryway in this home is a great statement as it gives you opportunities to make features just like this one here in the entryway. You've got a picture recess here to add something in there, a little moment at the start of the hallway. And again, this nook at the end of the hallway to make another feature out of, so that way it's not too plain and boring. I love how they've also opted in this entryway to add this step ceiling corners to the edge of the room to create another feature to lift your eyes up. Now at the end of the hallway, you can either turn left or right. And if you follow that hard flooring surface, you go through to living spaces. But let me take you through to the children's retreat at the front of the home first. The children retreat starts with a powder room here at the front of the home. This has a full freestanding vanity in there as well. So there's plenty of storage in that space too and great for guests. As you then move into the space, you'll find this open activity area. If you then move through this front hallway, you'll come across the bathroom to serve as the three children's bedrooms at the front. Now this has this wide mirror across it to allow the light to bounce around the room, a lovely window over the top of the built-in bathtub, and then hidden behind the door here, you'll find the shower. Heading on down the hallway, on the opposite side, you'll then find the huge walk-in linen. Plenty of storage here and all conveniently located right next to the bedrooms. Then towards the front of the home, taking full advantage of the facade with these beautiful windows is the two kids' bedrooms. With their built-in wardrobes. This Cascade D facade allows lots of natural light to come in with the big windows. And in this other bedroom, the second of the three bedrooms, it has an even larger window yet again. Again, built-in wardrobes to all the bedrooms with the standard shelf and a bar below. And you've got room for a large bed, bedside tables in every room. As you then walk back through this hallway, through the children's activity space towards the rear of the home, you'll come across the third of the three children's bedrooms for this area. Again, styled with a large bed in here and big bedside tables. and the walk-in robe. As we walk back through this space, you've got two options. One of these doorways takes you through that entryway that we first came through. But if you pop through this other square set opening here, you'll find a study nook conveniently located in the middle of the home. So if you've got school aged children or you yourself are working from home, this is a great functional space. And also has some extra built-in storage on the other side of the wall as well. Opposite that, you then open up into the theatre. Now this is beautiful and on display they've got the covered ceiling in here as well. I also love this high feature window. This allows you to put a big L-shaped couch in here too and run it underneath there or on a piece of furniture underneath there as well. They've opted to put one big sofa in here, TV opposite and the floating shelves create great balance on either side of the room and allow you to pop out any items that are special to you. This home theatre sometimes comes with the square set opening as standard but I I do recommend placing doors on here. They've gone for the Lin One Feature 4 on this occasion, which is a beautiful option. It has these four panels, all with the glass in there, and you can either opt for the translucent or the frosted glass, but it allows you to really seal the area and make sure that noise doesn't travel through the rest of the bedrooms. Following down this hard wooden floor surface, you'll come across your dining space first.
I really love the coastal theming throughout. You'll see along this wall two recesses. Great space for you to either pop a big piece of furniture like a buffet in here, or you can opt for the built-in cabinetry like we have. This has got the beautiful Caesar stone on display. Bulkheads above, and these pop-outs here define the area. So you travel from dining into living with this TV nook recess, and another void here as well, defining the space and allowing you then to place two big couches in the area like we have. This is great for entertaining this home. As you see here, the whole back of the home expands out with these double doors and the double width our fresco. On display is only the half width, but you can have this roof and floor travel all the way across the entire width of the home. Now, opposite to the living space, you've got the kitchen. It's a beautiful design, a really big island, straight run of kitchen cabinetry across the back. And I love how they've opted for the backsplash window in here too. You've got the double wall tower oven, which you occasionally see on display. And this can actually hold up to four appliances in there too. So say you want to pop the coffee machine in there as well, or a microwave in there too, you've got that option. They've put lots of drawers in here too, which is another lovely tip. Next to the wall tower ovens is the pantry. But if that wasn't enough, you do have a butler's pantry option on display in this home. You've got your fridge concealed in here and then more countertop space with another sink in here too. I would definitely opt to pop a PowerPoint in here, pop your kettle, your toaster, your coffee machine, all in this space out of the way and more storage up above here too for those bigger items. Through this area is then your concealed laundry. I love its position in this house. It's really out of the way and away from all the bedrooms so you can have the washer or dryer running later at night into the afternoon and evening and not disturb anyone that may be asleep. Direct external access makes it super easy to take clothes out to the clothesline as well. And you've got the big drop-in 42 liter sink there as well. All right, I know you're dying to see this master suite and it is truly stunning. But before I take you in there, don't forget to head down below and hit the subscribe button and ring that notifications bell while you're down there too. I also have a huge number of home tours available on my channel with a few more Miami 16s in there already. So I'll link up to that playlist above for you now and down below in the description box. All right, let's go and check out this master suite. I love how it's straight off this living space, but right at the back of the home. You've got this opportunity to add a little feature here. They've made it into a linen cupboard, but you have seen it on display in other videos of mine with a little countertop there and a mirror above. As you then step into the master suite, it really expands out the space. You've got these beautiful glass doors along the back, giving you a moment to have a little coffee area at the back of the home, or if you have a big pool out the back, looking straight upon that as well. The left and right feature windows here on either side of the bed really frame the space and allow a lovely piece of art above, and you can create kind of a beautiful moment against that wall. And then on the opposite wall, plenty of room if you want to put a chest of drawers or some bigger furniture along here, maybe wall mount a TV. Now, Opposite to the rear, you've got a square set opening here again. You've got the his and her wardrobe, so there is no fighting over who gets what. And then straight into the ensuite, you've got this beautiful, expansive left and right option. So the vanity is the first thing you see when you walk in the area and it's really framed by the opening. His and her sinks. Behind one side over here, you've got your concealed shower. And they've gone for the rain shower head in here as well. And as you can see, there is no glass in this option, which makes it a breeze for cleaning. Then opposite that, over the other side of the room, you've got two big windows letting that natural light in, and then your toilet concealed around this side as well. Now, if you do prefer to have a door on your toilet, I would recommend adding a cavity slider into this location here, or you can do it on the other side of the wardrobes there as well. This is great if, say, you and your partner might not wake up at the same times in the morning, uh, so I would recommend that. But let me go ahead and give you more of a view into this alfresco space out the back. It is stunning and a real feature of this home. It's probably my favorite element that really separates this from a lot of other designs. You've got the double with alfresco, as I mentioned, two doors on here, and you can either opt for the buy 
bifold doors that you see on display or sliding glass doors as well. With the double R fresco, you've got the roof extending all the way to the edge of the home. So you've got this opportunity to have a lounge area here. And sometimes you'll see it on display with a dining area over to one side or a barbecue area as well. So there's a lot of functionality. Even in a smaller block, you can opt for the half hour fresco to give yourself a little bit of grass or maybe pop in a plunge pool on one side. Thank you so much for sticking around all the way to the end of this Miami 16 home tour. If you've liked this video, as I said earlier, don't forget to head down below and hit that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell so that you don't miss a single video. I will see you on the next home tour. Bye for now.